defense. He kind of did the things you expect a veteran to do in this type of situation. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's done exactly what's asked. Uh, I, thought, you know, I thought we were playing really well up until that point. But we needed just a little bit of an extra spark, and I think fresh legs at that point. And Andy Williams was exactly what the game needed. Um, got on the ball quite often, uh, was pulling off plays, getting serviced into the box, and to see him go on the end of that one uh, was fantastic because over the past uh, week or so, we've been talking a lot about getting more midfielders and more numbers into the box to finish off plays. Uh, so for him to get in there, uh, midfielder, uh, shows that occasionally we know what we're talking about. Just talking about that whole sequence where all blocks that shot. I mean, you come away almost giving up a goal, and then, um, mm -hmm. what, 10 seconds later, you're, you're ahead. Yeah, you know, the game happens in transition. Uh, it, it, it goes from being a fantastic play by Hamas and I think he had a double defensive play there where he's blocked him off his chest and transitioned down to the other side of the field so quickly. Uh, and then Robbie Finley's played a, a fantastic crossover to Andy, and he finishes off. So things happen quickly in this game, no doubt. Jason, is it nice to know you'll never have to talk about how the team has never beaten New York before? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> 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 how nerve wracking was it in those first 80 minutes when you clearly had the chance to look like maybe another? Uh, all I kept thinking, James, was deja vu. I thought, that, is this going to be another game where it's chance after chance after chance and we're in there half the entire um, second half and we don't walk out of here with three points? Uh, so good to see it uh, different this year. Do you change things up a little bit in terms of formation? Is it be because of the midfield that you talked about you wanted to try and get more guys involved there? Yeah, I, I thought, James, um, over the past several weeks that in our 4 3 3 we would become a little bit stagnant. Uh, I, I don't think that we were playing it as dynamically as I like. Uh, I felt like our wide forwards were hanging out on the touchline and really kind of becoming ineffective players. Uh, and so I looked at it, um, we looked at it said that uh, in order for our forwards to be a bit more effective, we probably need to go to back to a 4-4-2. Uh, and in order to get another quality player on the park, we needed to probably play with four midfielders. Uh, and for me, I like to see the game play dynamically. I like to see changing in positions, uh, a passing possession-oriented game. And for me, it had just gotten a little too stagnant in the 4-3-3. So why not uh, change? Can you talk about even after the goal, you guys didn't step back and yeah, it's something that we've been talking about now for a long, long time. Uh, it felt like that um, in our past matches, um, we, when we've gotten a lead, we've, we've had a tendency to drop back and allow service into our box and really allow the other team to come directly into our half of the field. Uh, and feel like that that's not the way that we need to play. We need to continue to keep the ball in their half, keep numbers in their half, and make it difficult for the, for the other team to even get into our half of the field. Uh, it's so good, again, to see the guys reacting in a positive way and showing that they're, they're learning. Jason, what does this win do for you guys with the quick turnaround playing from Saturday? Uh, it means we're still alive. It means we're still alive, and we can live to fight another day. So Saturday is another one-off, uh, another cup final for Real Salt Lake. How are you going to handle that personnel-wise? It seems like last time you had a short turnaround, you completely changed your mind. A little bit different, because that was three games in six days. Uh, this is just be second game. Uh, but we are considering already uh, some possible changes just to get fresh legs up there. Is the turf going to factor into that? Good. It could. We've got a couple of players that have some joint issues. If they play on the turf, it can inflame them and mean that they may not even be available for the last game of the year. So uh, everything factors into decisions, and we consider everything. How fitting was it for Andy to get the you know, go-ahead goal with all the trials he's come through this year in the original season? Yeah, again, you know, um, Andy's had this uh, share of difficulties over the last two years, and it's been sort of a... Uh, an emotional uh, lightning rod for this team. Uh, and I know that he's um, <laughs> felt pretty disappointed because he hasn't gotten so much playing time this year as he would really have liked. Uh, and so obviously it's fantastic for me to see uh, again Andy uh, coming in, being a, a factor in that match, playing so well and scoring the winning goals. It's fantastic.